was happening is that one dysfunctional girl marsh kia back with the dysfunction and that's what you gotta know if you haven't done so already make sure you smash the subscribe button bang that post notification button so you know every time i we post a video it's lit over here let's get into it so today today's video is the video y'all all been waiting on everyone wanted us to do this video and i was kind of like hesitant on doing it or whatever we was actually supposed to do it a little differently but since we kind of pressed for time and got other stuff going on or whatever or whatnot we just decided to do it you know and um just do it like this and and, and talk to y'all um so everybody that you know subscribe to us and and follow us you know what i mean um wanted us to do this video on how we met um and how long we've been together y'all had other questions for us too um we will try to answer some of those questions if we can remember them the questions that we can remember we will answer but um y'all let's let's talk about these shirts y'all see the dysfunctional family logo shirts what y'all think let us know what y'all think let us know if y'all want to purchase some merch or whatnot let us know what y'all think we'll give y'all a closer look but um so yeah um how we met because uh, i do all the talking and stuff like uh, or whatnot but i didn't even have to say all that but we met through her brother which is my best friend well, I'm really his best friend now, but no, but um, she is, but <laughs> female wise, but dual wise, her brother is my right hand man. So, how long? Well, first, how long we've been knowing each other? I guess probably a little over eighteen years. Yep, it's been over eighteen years. Um, when he came to Michigan, like he said, he um ended up being friends with my brother or whatnot. Yeah, and it's about 18 years because my age just turned 18. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. My age wasn't even one when I first met y'all, so yeah, no, she wasn't even born. Yes, yeah, she was. She wasn't born. Yes, my age was born. My age was in the car seat on Howard the first time I ever came over there. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, so about 18 years or whatnot. Um, so, yeah, he started out being friends with my brother. And um, I had seen him or whatever. And I was like, who is this young Tenderoni or whatever? No, I'm just joking. But uh, I did really see is him. A, uh, <laughs> a cougar, y'all. Don't do that, for real. Because it's, it's only a three year age difference. Yeah, but you older than everybody you ever talked to. Okay, don't try to come at me like that. Don't try <laughs> to put me out there like that for real. Cause you love this old cougar. She like okay? young, she like young me, y'all. I don't like nothing. I love this young whatever. Tender brownie or whatever. But yeah, so he had came around with my brother or whatever and um like yeah, I was just playing games back then and stuff or whatever, like so we would like flirt with each other and stuff, but never nothing serious, you know, but um, he was feeling the kid, he was feeling the kid or whatever. And um, so, you know, we like, just like flirted with each other and stuff. It wasn't, it was nothing like serious or major. I think he was feeling me. Boy, if you don't go somewhere. I think so. Anywho, I was in a relationship at the time. No, you wasn't. Yes, I was. No, you was not. Ain't that when I was with, what you call it? No, you wasn't, when I first met you, you wasn't in that relationship. Oh. But anywho, yes, I was. No, you oh. was not. Okay, so then, well, oh, that was like time went on. Yeah. And I ended up being in a relationship or whatever, but was like feeling you or whatever. So, um, 
He came around the family. I remember everything. So he came around the family or whatever. He was always around the family and had his eye on me or whatever. And um, so then we called ourselves like flirting and stuff or whatever. But they didn't like, you know, go nowhere, nothing serious or whatever. We didn't she like. She was playing me, y'all. She was a player. So, yeah, I got my heart broken at first. You can stop so, with that. Yeah, because I liked it there. She called herself playing with my emotions. See, I was a young and I ain't know no better. <laughs> so why he why he with me now, y'all? If that be the case. I mean, some shit get rekindled. So yeah, so things whatever you know happened or whatever, and so when we hooked up, y'all, it was years and years and years and years later. You know, we ended up living together for. A long time before we ever like took it you know on an intimate level or anything we lived together and he did his thing you know I did mine or whatever like and then when I had got pregnant with Carter yes so for all of y'all who was wondering yes he I was pregnant with him he's not his biological son but he is his son um, I got pregnant with Carter. That's the reason why he's trying, huh? Right. I got pregnant with him, and I got pregnant with him in May. And he came to stay with me in August, and he did not leave my side at all. Um, so the whole time I was pregnant, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was there. He took care of me. Like, he cooked for me. He did everything. Like, we were really, really close. Like... You know, whatever he needed, I was there. Whatever I needed, he was there. You know, and um, after I had Carter, he was there when Carter was born and everything. So um, at this time, we best friends. You know what I mean? Like nothing sexual, nothing intimate, none of that. So after I had Carter, you want to tell that story? Mm -mm. I don't even know what you're talking about. So after I had Carter... He left, and he had went back home. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. After I had him, you I had left. I never left when Carter was born. Yes, remember when you had left, and that's how we ended up getting together. That's how we hooked up, because you left, and I had that dream, and you had that dream. Remember? I don't remember. You had called. Okay, so he had left, and I had missed him. This was the only time he ever left, and I had missed him, so he had called, and I had called, and I'm like, that's I mean, I he working. had called. Was it when you was working? No, yeah, it wasn't. Yes, it was. You left one time. Yeah, that's when I was working down there in South Bend. Mm -mm. Yes, I was. Mm -mm, I wasn't the and time. And then I had day. quit working with the man. Yes, that is. Oh well, he had left one time after I had had him, and um, he was missing me, and I was missing him. So he had called, and um, we was just talking, and it was so crazy because we both had like the same dream it was really crazy really crazy so he had a sexual dream about me and i had one about him and at this time we had never ever like messed around sexually or anything so when he called he was like man i had this dream blase blase and i'm like well i had a dream too i'm not saying it but i had a dream too and he was like well what was your dream and da 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 da, da. and i told him and then he told me and basically that was the start of our relationship because when he came back we ended up kicking it or whatever I and I'm re analyze in my head to make sure she's telling y'all the truth well what do you want to say because that no, is the I'm truth just making sure I, that's why we have to think about it because i'm like so yeah so i said i had that dream he said he had the dream too or whatever and um so when we when he had came back or whatever we had hooked up or whatever, not in a relationship or nothing, but we hooked up. So, um, we was kicking in and stuff or whatever, and then, what? You want me to say that part? What? You got like that? I mean, it wasn't nothing. So then, he ended up getting locked up, and... When he got locked up, I really realized, like, how much he really meant to me. And, like, 
it was like I really could not function without him being here. Like, I went and stayed with Miss Kim and everything because he was gone. So, I had a boyfriend at the time. Well, not a boyfriend or whatever, but I was like, well, I'm not giving Carter a birthday party until he came home. So, the guy that I was kicking it with or whatever was like, um felt some type of way about it or whatever but i'm like i ain't having this party until he come home and he did he came home and it was like a couple of days after my birthday which was in february and it was the 27th. yeah and we had the party it was the 26th because we had the party the next day on the 27th and um we had that party or whatever and um and we ended up hooking up but we had the party in February. We didn't hook up until August. August 3rd is the day we made it official and really got together. And um, so, with that being said, how long have we been together? Seven years. No, it's six. It's been to be seven. Six. It's been to be seven. It's been to be six. Wow, oh, Carter, seven. It's been to be eight. It's been to be six. I was with you. No, we got together after Carter was born. Of course, after his first birthday. So he was born. We didn't so. make it official until after his first birthday. Oh yeah. So it'll be six years, August third. Everybody think that it's been longer because we, like I said, we've been friends for eighteen years. We just had became like best friends over the last what. You talking about just became best friends. We've been best friends. No, I'm saying like we when we really before we had made it official. We've been friends for years. Yeah, but we got really, really close when I lived in down there. Yeah. Yeah, so we got really, really close. But he has been here for like well, he's been here all of Carter's life. All of Carter's life. All um, your kids. I'm just saying, like, you ain't miss nothing with him. Like he's been there with all my kids, but with none of them. yeah. But Carter, he was there when he was born. Everything, like everything, like um. When I had Carter, I didn't have to do nothing. Like he stayed up with him all night while I slept, and then when I got up in the morning, he would go and he would sleep. And oh, it was and just, just like it was to a throw team. That out there, me and Carter's real daddy is like this. So they are really cool. close. I was gonna say that too. So yeah, him and Carter's dad is cool and they are like no problems at all. Like he really thank him for being there for his son and he know he a good man. So, you know, they talk and all of that. So it ain't no type of nothing, but um, yeah, he was just pretty much there the whole time and, and still been here the whole time and whatnot. Um, Y'all know he's great and does a lot for my family and everybody love him a lot lot boy <laughs> but what else did i miss because it was some other stuff they was asking what else did i miss i don't know um so no he's not the kid's biological father but he's their father um oh he has a daughter yeah, um, I do have a biological daughter, Niaja, and she's gonna be thirteen. She'll be thirteen. Um, and um, she doesn't. Everybody asks why don't she be in our videos, blah blah blah. Say, but she don't live here, you know. So when she does come, um, when but we the do crazy get her, thing is, her and Josh was born the same year. Yeah, so her and Demond was born the same year. Um, so they the same age. Um, my oldest daughters, everybody know, most of y'all know, she just turned 18. So we have an 18 year old, two 13 year olds, and a seven year old. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I'm trying to see if I left anything out. Um, that y'all want to know. Um, I, um, I can't think of none either. So, yeah, he's my brother's best friend. That's how we met, through him. Um, 
I swept him off his feet at an early age. No. I did that. Boy. <laughs> um, at an early age, I did. You know, came through you like really yeah. saying that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was trying to think of something that um they had asked. Because I know it was a lot of questions and stuff or whatever. I know they had wanted to know if you were the kid's real father. We've been together for six almost six years in August. Um Can you think of anything? Mm -hmm. So my Asia, Nyasia, Asia, Joshua, Carter. Those are our children. Um his family does not live here, so that's they why y'all don't to. they used to, yeah. But that's why y'all don't see them in the videos or whatever when y'all ask about his family. Um, but we do go visit. Oh, that's what I wanted to address. So, while we got y'all here, a lot of people say on my videos that I'm just lazy and I don't do nothing and I just record and record and record. Is that true? They say the same thing about me. No, though. they don't. Because they, do. they see because me it, it, recording you doing work. You got work, a million but, and one people on there that tell me I still need to get a job. But, but we know what day, you do. We know what you do. So, yeah. It's money being brought in, so absolutely. Um, but our energy is matched. Just know that he wouldn't sit around here and just be with me if he just doing everything and I'm not. I'm not doing nothing or giving nothing. He. He just. I he's he doesn't record as much as I do, so I record a lot more than him. But if. You think about it. How can I record myself doing something? I wake up usually at 5 o'clock every day. And from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed, I am working regardless of the fact. Whether it's doing hair, whether it's cleaning, whatever. I am constantly working. Am I or am I not? Constantly. She works herself tirelessly. I ain't even gonna say to death because she act crazy. But yes, I am constantly working. Y'all don't see it because I'm usually filming him when he's doing stuff or whatever the case may be. But just know he wouldn't be here if he was being worked and, I, and my energy did not match. He wouldn't be here for that. So, vice versa. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, they see what you do. They know you do a lot. They know you do a whole lot. I mean, you know, it's a lot so, of stuff that I do that don't be recorded too, though. Yeah. So, um, but no, for real though, I just, I thank God for him because I feel like he's one in a million. You know what I mean? Like, you don't find men, especially younger men, out here like him, you know? So, I thank God for him because... He's one in a million. But make sure y'all hit the like button on this video. Comment down below. Comment down subscribe. below. Subscribe. Share the video. Um, let me know what type of content y'all want to see from us. I hope I answered all y'all questions. If I did not answer y'all questions about us, just uh comment on this video and let us know. And um We'll get another video going for y'all, but I think we just about covered all of what we could. Mm -hmm. Um, we love y'all. Thank y'all for rocking with us. You know, um, the dysfunctional family, we gonna go all the way. Like, thank y'all for all y'all love, support. Um, we trying to get this merch for y'all. Um, y'all see we rocking the shirts, so, um. These will be coming soon. Make sure y'all comment. Let us know what y'all think of these. And uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to get out of here. Thank y'all.